Welcome to Cozy Noah Vibes, where we listen, relax, and drift into slumber. As always, I'm your host Noah, and thank you for joining me. Tonight, we'll explore the windswept expanse of Dartmoor in the Devon countryside of England, home to prehistoric settlers medieval inhabitants, and of course, an array of beautiful flora and fauna. Let's take a few gentle steps together and walk towards dreamland. As you lie in bed, try to relax your mind and body. They've worked hard all day and it's time to recharge. Take a deep breath in and then slowly exhale. With each breath, you may find yourself getting closer to that magical place where sleep naturally comes. Imagine yourself lying on a soft grassy meadow with a golden sun overhead. The warm rays of the sun caress your skin, relaxing every muscle you feel the soothing comfort as the stress and worry slowly dissipate, bringing a luxurious feeling of drowsiness. The warmth from the sun travels from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, making every part of your body feel warm and relaxed. In this cozy warmth, let your worries and concerns gradually fade away. Here, you are safe and all you need to do is rest. You stand on top of a hill, feeling the vast land and sky around you. A cool but pleasant breeze brushes your skin, and you can hear the gentle chirping of birds. As far as the eye can see, rolling hills and plains stretch out, covered in heavy tones of brown and green. The landscape is dotted with small patches of forests and fields, like small emerald and dull of green patches on a giant quilt. Here and there, on the hilltops, smooth gray rocks jut out of the ground like teeth. These rocks, known as tours, are magical places inspiring many stories and fairy tales for generations. You take a deep breath, healing the serene quality of this wild landscape. The gentle wind brings a deep sense of calm and solidity, welcoming your body like an old friend. The grass underfoot is short and springy, and in front of you stands a tor, made up of large, round boulders. Though mostly round, the surface still looks rough and rugged. They are stacked together, tightly bound by the forces of nature and moss. The tour stands majestically before you, inviting you forward. You gently walk towards it, reaching out, and your palm brushes against the rock feeling the warmth baked in by today's sun. A whisper in the wind turns your head. You see one side of the tour stretching out like dominoes to a lush green hill. The ground is flat, covered with long grass, curling ferns, and clusters of reeds. In this greenery, there is a clump of low shrubs no higher than your shoulder, with green, pointed leaves and small yellow flowers at the top, similar to sweet peas or orchids. This is gorse, found all over Dartmoor. You notice the moss-covered boulders hidden in the gorse, with a perfect gap between them, like a warm inviting doorway waiting for you. You gently approach the gorse, noticing the flower's curious coconut scent. With a quiet reverence, 
You move towards the boulders, feeling this place soothe you, telling you what it will show you is peaceful and wonderful. You instinctively know this is the start of your journey, and Dartmoor will embrace you gently, softly, evenly. You move towards the space between the boulders, feeling a deep calm wash over you, relaxing your body further. You notice a faint sparkle in the air. Could this really be a portal? As you step into the shimmering air, it's like walking through a cool curtain of relaxation. You close your eyes, and when you open them again, you find yourself gently transported to an ancient, beautiful forest. You pause, taking in the mystical surroundings, hundreds of curious, Stunted oak trees adorned with silvery lichens and deep green moss. The air is thick with a sense of tranquility and history. This is Westman's Wood, a last remnant of the ancient forest that once covered Dartmoor thousands of years ago. You notice the twisted trunks of these trees, formed in colder climates, moving quietly in this stunning woodland, each tree draped with lichen, like the beards of old men. As you move through this forest, you feel any tension in your body being gently absorbed by the surroundings. Taking a deep breath, let this magical air fill your lungs, flowing through your body, healing and nourishing you. It encourages you to release any remaining tension, dissolving it into the land, which gladly transforms it into new growth. You continue through Westman's Wood, soon feeling drawn to the forest edge. Merging with the open moorland, you move naturally towards it, seeing the shadows of the forest gradually fade until you reach its boundary. Stepping out of the woods, you enter a vast, desolate valley, feeling the grandeur of the landscape. Walking through the valley, you grow more appreciative of its pristine grandeur. The ground begins to slope, and you easily climb. The slope ends at a small hilltop where a group of wild ponies grazes leisurely. These ponies are the natural guardians of this land, with hoof prints dating back to 3,500 years ago. You are so close to these peaceful creatures. They do not fear you, and you do not fear them. Watching them, you start to feel their energy. Their unkempt manes flutter in the breeze, blinking slowly and gently. You feel they are guiding you, just as the magic pulled you through the shimmering air. They allow you to join their ranks, noticing their beautiful colors, gray, white, chestnut, mottled hazelnut, and almost black. Together they shake their manes, each horse lifting its left hoof. As they set down their hooves, you feel yourself being lifted off the ground. The ponies gallop, beginning to run, seeming to take you along. You watch their powerful limbs move swiftly, feeling a sense of freedom and joy. You feel the scent of the earth turned under their hooves, the air brushing against your face. The landscape begins to change, and you notice a different forest ahead. The familiar scent of pine reaches you, realizing this forest is made of towering pine trees. As you approach, the ponies slow down, 
eventually stopping before this magnificent pine forest. You peacefully thank your guides and start walking into the woods. The forest is cool and dark, with trees towering overhead and the ground covered in deep green moss. You notice the soft sunlight filtering through the branches, feeling serene and still. Walking through this unfamiliar woodland, you begin to feel traces of others. Perhaps early settlers lived here or used the forest for warmth. You can almost smell the faint scent of wood smoke in the air, hear the sounds of children running through the woods across the ages. You can imagine them laughing and playing here, or people strolling through, enjoying the forest's peace and tranquility, stealing moments of warmth and softness on summer evenings. Passing through these sleeping memories, you feel a deep sense of gratitude. Hearing the sound of trickling water nearby, you realize there must be a stream. You instinctively head towards the sound. The trees thin out, and you see more clearings. With the sound of the stream growing clearer, you step out of the woods into a meadow. A few meters ahead, a shallow but clear stream flows before you. The water babbles happily, and looking upstream, you see an ancient stone bridge. The bridge is low and wide, perfectly connecting both sides of the stream. The stones are rough and worn, clearly built in medieval times. You recall the early settlers, marveling at the craftsmanship of this ancient bridge. It uses the same gray granite as the tours you saw earlier. You gently touch the stones of the bridge, feeling the warmth from thousands of touches over the years. The bridge leads you out of the forest where a path stretches towards the open moorland. Gravel crunches underfoot as you walk, feeling peaceful and relaxed, knowing you're nearing something magnificent. You maintain a gentle pace, no need to rush in this timeless place. The path winds around an ancient stone wall, where the rocks are so skillfully stacked they need no cement or adhesive to hold them together. Yellow lichen grows on the stones, marking the passage of time and weather. Passing through a gap in the wall, you enter a large pasture. Continuing forward, the pasture gradually unfolds into a vast wilderness. You notice small objects on the ground, like distant tours. As you get closer, you discover these are flat, thick stone slabs arranged in a circle. Though they are no taller than your waist, they feel as important as the trees and tours. A strong sense of awe fills you, understanding this is a stone circle built by prehistoric people. Each stone rises purposefully and evenly from the ground carefully chosen and placed, slowly approaching the circle. You take a deep breath, feeling a deep comfort. Standing at the edge of the stone circle, savoring this special moment, you notice a hollow in the center, like a small ditch or burrow. Instinctively, you move towards it Finding a beautiful bed nestled in the hollow. The bed is supported by smooth oak branches, surrounded by lush moss. The mattress is made of soft natural materials, covered with green cotton sheets. The pillows are fluffy, and the blankets warm and inviting. You realize your body is tired, ready for sleep, 
So you climb into this beautiful bed, feeling its support and comfort, pulling up the covers. You feel their warmth and softness. In this special place, you feel incredibly safe. The stones of the circle protect and guard you. As the sky darkens, you feel your body preparing for sleep as your head sinks into the pillow. The beautiful memories of Dartmoor surround you, and as your breathing becomes deep and slow, you feel a deep sense of gratitude and wonder. You quietly let your mind calm, your thoughts at peace. You know the gifts of this journey will stay with you until morning. So you smile as you enter a blissful and restorative sleep.